I'm Susie Moffitt. In 2007, my husband Paul and I welcomed our son Max into the world. Max was born with Down syndrome, which was unexpected and took us on a new unprepared adventure. Heart and Soul was founded in 2012 and currently promotes more than 20 artists around the world that have Down syndrome. As the world went into a global lockdown, we invited them to be part of a film that aims to document this important moment in history. We've seen that in times of crisis or stress, we often turn to creativity to help us through. Art allows us to express ourselves, lose ourselves or simply distract. And we have seen our artists do this with breathtaking intensity. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> Loves your paintings, they're beautiful. Hello, friends. Welcome to Master Yo. Home, 
to save the flowers here. Right, we're throwing the, the fucking pool. We're um, throwing the water up. Now we're getting the birds to come in. So I'm going to put these on my side. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días, joven. Hey, hey Chris. Hey, how's it going? I'm give a cue. What <laughs> time is it there? Need to kick. It's uh, it's seven here. We're at my early. <laughs> my my Chris has asked me to um, throw to times. I took pictures of shadows. Shadows, yeah. I tried to stick with cities. No, you can just play A and then I'm going to stop you. Yeah. Just need to get a bit of A.
This is a bowl which I made on a mould. It was originally like a lower clay. We allowed it to go leather hard. Then I painted a white slip on. It was biscuit fired. Since then I've drawn on a design and used underglaze pigments. Mauve, blue and red on the inside. And mainly on the outside will be the greenery and the green leaves as you can see on the design. It will be accompanied by the red hearts. The bowl is now finished with a cut colour blue rim which will be navy blue. The whole inside is done. Hearts and leaves. And then do the background colour of blue and green. I love it. I've also made plate and now I do have an example I can introduce you to in the front room. This is an example of some of the plates I've done and you probably noticed that my clothes actually match the plate. I also made two other plates, one for my dad and one for my brother which I gave to them as Christmas presents. This is one of my first drawings I, I, I did during lockdown. This is a picture which I first started two years ago. I worked on an outline to start with and two years on I coloured it in in watercolour pencils. I also be doing a spot of gardening by helping mum with lawn mowing, weeding and planting and actually enjoying myself during lockdown. And I'm a believer, not a shred, doubt in my mind, I'm in love, I'm a believer, I can leave her if I try. I thought love was more or less a given thing The more I gave, the less I got, oh yeah What's the point in trying? Da -da 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 -da. All you get is pain Love came and haunted all my breath Then I saw her face
my name is Dominic G. I am an artist. I'm a rapper. And roughly, I'm doing art adventures. But it was closed because of a virus. So I'm doing stuff at home. I am making weasels for a long time. Many exhibitions. Why I make weasels? I will tell you why. Weasels are my, my favorite characters. I am making weasels out of clay. I am learning to make them better. Caroline at Farm Ventures teach me. Look at my evil eyes. And you see me there. I am also doing my favorite characters. You see, two pack and Chief Weasel. I am recording reviews every day. You can see my YouTube channel. It's WG TV. I am writing a lot of raps and because when the virus is over. As well on my art, I'm doing gardening, cooking, exercises every day. But we got a message. We are a weasel nation. Join my nation. There's a weasel in all of you. So, by way of an introduction, this is Ryan. Just to sort of give you a wee bit of background, Ryan is now. 25. I was one of the very first recruits for Heart and Souls. But since he left school, we moved on to baking. Just a couple of years after he left school, we got an honesty box and popped it at the top of the driveway and we baked together and sold them really in a not-for-profit kind of a thing. And we didn't really expect much to come of it, but it grew anyway into a very, very popular thing. And he's ended up making £1,000 a month now for whichever charity he's supporting. Since lockdown and the coronavirus, we've had to close the cookie box and instead what we're doing now is making a couple of hampers of buns, what we call not all superheroes wear capes, thank you hampers. And we give them to some of the frontline workers or the people who might get forgotten about whose lives have really been changed as they're trying to keep things halfway normal during these rather odd times. I'm starting here actually. Uh, that's a um, uh, brown colour. Uh, that was just super red. That's here. That one here, the same. That here. And uh, that here, and that here as well. It's a little like a um, brown stone. And it's a hydro stone. I really like Aboriginal um, designs and, so, and I even learned a new quality of paint style from one of my Aboriginal artworks and I really like this design and I'm doing my own design in this corner because originally it's, um, it's plain. I really love the ancient Greeks from horrible histories and so I decided to do my own one with 
all the things that they invented and the Greek pot being the centre of it and the um, all the Greek lessons of um, Pan Pandora's box, the Minotaur and Medusa of course. My name is Andrew Alistair Weatherly, and the piece I'm working on is going to be inspired by spring, positivity, and happiness, and inspired by eastern bluebirds sitting on a branch. I, I've been doing a whole lot, lot of painting recently. I have new pieces. Have you been doing writing? Yes. What kind of work do you like to write? Uh, well, I've been earth, earth acting pieces and starting to write improvisation pieces. This piece is called Light of Truth, and what it's about is the answer to what truth really is. There is a light of truth. My other earth toiled in sorrow. Conqueror of the Ark. Color us with gladness. She is fired and broken. Follow the light of truth. It embraces each moment of life. Descends humbleness. His light will follow you. Peace shall plant its seed as the Ark clouds fade away. Skies written with the, the glowing star. The love he left behind ignites the light of truth. His wonders never fade, forever lasting. Thank you. Keep smiling, feel positive, happy, and inspired. Hello everyone! Hi from Anthony Childs. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. Anthony's doing some painting today in the backyard. This is an acrylic on canvas approximately 36 inches by 24 inches that he has been working on. The base is green and has some texture started. Today Anthony is applying shades of blue, white, and silver to the painting. The colors are inspired from the beautiful sky. Anthony is using a sponge applicator to add extra technique and color blending of the paints. While our artists have remained in lockdown, a common thread has appeared. Creating art provides a voice to those whose voices may not normally be heard. It reflects the world around us, and most importantly, it comes from the heart.